the reciprocal rule. If we have uh, y equals 1 over f of x, that's the reciprocal of f of x. And this is the rule that we use to take the derivative of y. It's minus the derivative of what's in the denominator divided by the denominator squared. Let's look at an example to see how we use it. Let's take y equals 1 over 3x squared plus 2x. In this case, we can see what the function is in the denominator. f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 2x. To find the derivative dy dx, we'll need the derivative of f of x. f prime of x we get by using the power rule. It's 3 times 2x, or 6x, plus the derivative of 2x, which is just 2. So now we take f prime of x and f of x and just insert them into this formula. So dy dx, the derivative of our original function, 1 over 3x squared plus 2x, is equal to minus, that's this minus sign right there, 6x plus 2. That's the derivative of f prime of x. But it's important to put parentheses around the 6x plus 2 because the minus applies to the entire derivative. So it's minus parentheses 6x plus 2 divided by the original function squared. So again, we need parentheses around the original function, and we square it. That's dy dx. That's the derivative of this original function based on this reciprocal rule. Let's look at a more complicated example where we, we combine the reciprocal rule with the product rule. So in this case, we still have a reciprocal. We have a denominator of 6x plus 2, but we also have a numerator of x squared plus 5. So this rule doesn't apply exactly. To use this rule, you have to have a 1 in the numerator, and we don't. But if we want to take the derivative of this, x squared plus 5 over 6x plus 2, we can rewrite it and write this as a product. It's x squared plus 5 times 1 over 6 plus 2. And so now viewing this as a product, we can apply the product rule to find the derivative. And on this last piece of the product rule, we'll have to use the reciprocal rule. So this is going to be equal to, based on the product rule, it's going to be the derivative of the first expression, x squared plus 5. We put parentheses around here to indicate we're just taking the derivative of x squared plus 5 in this case, times the second function, 1 over 6x plus 2. And then the product rule will continue here on the next line, plus we leave the first function alone, x squared plus 5, times the derivative of the second function, 1 over 6 plus 2. So now we just need to take these derivatives. The derivative of x squared plus 5 is just 2x. We leave the 1 over 6x plus 2 alone. So we multiply by 1 over 6x plus 2. Plus the x squared plus 5, which we leave alone, times the derivative of 1 over 6x plus 2. For the derivative of 1 over 6x plus 2, we need to use the reciprocal rule again. And so what we do is we take the derivative of the denominator. The derivative of the denominator is 6. We put a minus sign in front of it, so it's minus 6. And then we divide by the denominator squared. So we divide by 6x plus 2 quantity squared. And this is our final answer, combining the product rule with the reciprocal rule to take the derivative of this question. That's how you use the reciprocal rule.